Welcome back to Top Investor. There are very few people who can always keep in charge of their money without getting into some sort of money trap. We've all been online and the next day seen loads of money coming out of our account, but we can never remember where we spent it because it's such a simple money trap that often sometimes people don't even realize they're being trapped. In this video, we'll be showing you the easiest ways you can get trapped into spending money without really thinking much about it. Make sure you stay around to the end of the video as you don't want to miss number one. Number 10, Luxury Hotels. It is easy to admit that luxury hotels are nice. Staying somewhere away from home is easier when it's comfy and cozy. But why does basic comfort have to come at a hefty price? Sure, luxury hotels look great on your social media timeline, but so do cheaper hostels. Nowadays, there are many hidden gems when it comes to accommodation during travels. Hostels are big and not only cozy, you can even meet some new friends along the way. Not into sharing spaces with others, there are plenty of affordable Airbnbs around the globe, as well as beautiful motels that are often overlooked by travelers. Next time you travel, check out other options. Luxury might often mean a beautiful view, not an elegant or expensive room. And who knows, maybe you'll get to experience more of the local lifestyle while staying at a more affordable accommodation. Number nine, brand new cars. New cars can be great. They also are another sign of wealth. Loud engines and immaculate paint jobs can make you the envy of all your friends and neighbors. But are they really worth it? We often forget that we just use cars for travel. Unless your hobby is off-roading or legal racing, you might want to stick to an affordable vehicle that gets you from point A to point B. It's no use buying a super fast car because you'll still have to drive by the speed limit, right? You can make your average car look better by customizing it. This may be cheaper than buying a new car altogether. You can give it a new paint job and fix up the interior and BAM! Old car, new look. Number 8. Designer Clothes Much like jewelry, designer clothes are a staple in our pop culture. Brands like Supreme, Stussy and Gucci have simple designs but run you hundreds if not thousands of dollars. They seem to be a symbol of wealth and status in our modern age. There are many alternatives if you're into fashion. Even thrift shops sometimes have these brand names at a huge fraction of the cost. There are many alternatives if you're into fashion. Being fashionable doesn't always mean that you are spending tons of cash. You can look great and sleek and runway ready with a $10 outfit. You just have to know where to look. If you like a design from a high fashion brand, check local discount retailers or shops for cheaper alternatives. You and your bank account will look great. Number seven, unnecessary subscriptions. Subscriptions aren't new. People have subscribed to things like newspapers and magazines for decades, but now many of our subscriptions are digital. This can be dangerous for our savings. This also brings the dangers of hidden fees. It is easy to just type in your credit card info and sign up for something annually, but it is also just as easy to forget that you subscribed. This happens to many people all the time, and this is how many subscription companies make their money. It is hard to know where you'll be in a year and if you lose your job, you might need to forget about your monthly subscription to Netflix, which is draining you and often not essential. Subscriptions can turn into constant monthly bills and are something that you have to constantly keep up with. Sure, it's nice to have these subscriptions, but sometimes there are cheap or free alternatives. If you are an avid movie watcher or listen to music on the road a lot, it may be cheaper to have a subscription instead of making individual purchases. But otherwise, it may not be as smart. Number six, jewelry. Jewelry can be beautiful. It is also a sign of wealth for many people. But how can you stay wealthy if you are spending every paycheck on a gold chain? Sure, jewelry can be nice, but just like many other things, it should be bought in moderation. Some jewelry shops love to bump up prices and boast that their pieces will make you look stunning or elegant. 
jewellery sellers are almost like car dealers. They can really sell you their items. In order to avoid the trap, try not to fall into the false belief that you need all of this ice to look nice. Having a watch or bracelet is okay, but don't go overboard. A ring for a wedding is an understandable splurge, but splurges aren't meant for the everyday. Remember this tip and you might just see your savings swelling back up. Number 5. Fast Food Fast food is exactly how it sounds. Fast. This is one of its major appeals. Too lazy to cook at home? Drop by a drive through for that quick fix. It is also affordable, right? Dollar meals, great deals. Nope, over time, all of that adds up. It is far cheaper to buy groceries once or twice a month and learn to cook from home. Imagine one or two fast food meals a day. How much would that add up in a month? Too much. Another drawback are the issues that it will give you health-wise. It's no secret that fast food is unhealthy and a major cause of health malaise in our country. And if you're eating it a majority of your days, your organs will not thank you. And this means more trips to the doctor and more medication. That will definitely add up over time. So next time you want a quick fill up, think it over a bit more. Number four, expensive gadgets. In our era, gadgets can be a good thing if you know which one to get. Luckily for us, phones now have many different uses. We have a phone, a calculator, a computer, and many more all in the palm of our hand. This can be a necessity, but many other gadgets are just a big waste of money. We no longer need to spend money on iPods. Our computers and phones are perfectly capable of playing music. Other gadgets such as dashboard cameras and automatic vacuum cleaners can be helpful, but are pricey. Ask yourself if you absolutely need these gadgets to survive. In order to save money, we need to ask ourselves what we really need as opposed to what we want. If it isn't a necessity, it can be just a big waste of money. It is easy to fall for the gimmicks of these appealing gadgets, but remember that we don't really need these items in our life. It's okay to splurge every once in a while, but not every single time a new gadget comes out. Number three, waiting until you're hungry to buy food. This next one on the list may have you scratching your head. Why wouldn't you just buy food when you're hungry? Well, impulses can be expensive. That applies to food as well. When you're hungry, you may just settle for fast food, which we learned can be expensive and unhealthy over time. Also, grocery shopping while hungry may also cause you to overspend on unnecessary or unhealthy things. So what's the fix? Meal planning! With meal planning, you can set aside specific meals throughout the week and budget accordingly. This is a popular method of planning for people looking to save both time and money. Meal planning means you take recipes and you plan your meals days in advance. You can also prep them days early so you can just heat and eat when the time comes. This is also a great way to prevent overeating and keep you fit and away from the doctor's office. There really is no bad thing about meal planning. It's budget friendly and can even be fun. Number two, gyms. Gyms are generally great places. They help people to stay fit and in turn make people healthier. This means that you can keep the doctor away and save tons of money on healthcare down the line. So why are they burning holes in our pockets? Many upscale gyms claim to have the latest and greatest equipment that is absolutely necessary in order to lose weight. The truth is, people have been working out far longer than the existence of gyms. Gym memberships have skyrocketed since their inception and can cost thousands of dollars a year in membership. Gym equipment can be great if you are a bodybuilder. However, the average workout can be done completely at home. If you are really looking for an intense workout, think about buying your own equipment or hiring an affordable trainer so you won't have to commit to a year-long subscription. Many people complain about wasting their gym membership because they lose motivation, and that is just tons of money down the drain. Let 
And finally, in at number one, in-app purchases. Oh, the dreaded in-app purchases. They seem to be everywhere, on every app. They're usually hard to notice and can even fool you into thinking you need to purchase them. An app will call itself free, but will usually have many enticing deals that cost real money. Avoid these traps at all costs. Apps will usually state that they offer in-app purchases, but only in the fine print. So when you think an app is free, try to check out some more. Some features, especially in games, will require further purchases in order to advance. Others will bug you with video ads and offer to remove them for a fee. These apps have many tricks to fool you into buying gems or coins or premium subscriptions or whatever else they are selling, so be aware. This can be a huge waste of money, especially if there is no real use for it. Purchasing certain apps may be fine, but usually games and other non-essential apps aren't worth it. Just have fun with the free versions and you'll be fine. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell to stay up to date on all our new videos.